Hello, Rogelio. How are you? I hope you're not too hot in this month of July. We have a few more weeks where we can read together, and I've been looking forward to reading with you. I hope you've been enjoying it too. So this week, I selected Summer in the City. So I think this might be a story that we would have fun reading. If you have, I hope you haven't, well, if you have read it before, I hope you enjoy reading it again. And if not, I hope it's a fun story for you. So this is Summer in the City, written by Anne Hearth. Jason sat on his front steps. Alex sat beside him. I'm hot, said Alex. Me too, said Jason. Jason stared at the cracks in the sidewalk. Something moved. Hey, look, Jason said as he ran down the steps. A trickle of water flowed down the sidewalk. There it is. All right. Where did it come from, said Alex. I don't know, said Jason. Let's find out. And there they go. See, fruit, shoes. Jason followed the trickle. Alex followed Jason. They passed the fruit shop and the shoe shop. And we saw that uh, in the other screen. Now notice how that says fruit shop, not fruits shop, fruit shop. And the shoe shop, the trickle grew wider. They passed the basketball court. There are two trickles, Jason said. He put a finger in the water. It was cool. Oh, look. Beans, bread, bikes. I'm thinking that's beans, but it does say eans. There are more than two, Alex pointed at the street ahead. See? More trickles came toward them. Jason and Alex walked faster. They passed the bike shop and the bread shop. So if they pass the bike shop first and then the bread shop, they are following it like this. He first the bike shop, then the bread shop. See, bikes, bread. The water came faster and faster. The boys took off their shoes. See, their shoes are off. They ran through the cold water. If you were in the street and you were, would you take your shoes off to run in the water? I'd only do that if I really knew it was a clean street. And that seemed sort of iffy because you could cut your feet. But anyway, they had fun and it's cool water and that's nice. Okay. Where's it coming from, Alex said. Look, Jason said. The water ran over their feet. They raced to the end of the street. A fire hydrant was open. See, and there goes the water. See, it did say beans, right? What does that say? Can you read that? Does that say cakes? Hardware. Do you think it's hardware? Water sprayed everywhere. Kids played in the spray. Jason and Alex did too. Hey, Alex, my mouse is stuck. Hey, Alex. Jason looked at his dripping friend. Are you still hot? So, where did the boys go first? Well, let's say, when does this story take place? In the summer. What do Alex and Jason pass first? And where does the story begin? And where is the water coming from? Do you remember where the story began? Jason? was sitting on his front step, so that would be Jason's home. And the water, where did it come from? The fire hydrant. Now here's a tough one. 
What do Alex and Jason pass first? Was it the fruit store? Let's check. And then we'll check the Spanish and see how well that goes. All right, here we go. So let's go here. So they pass the fruit. And look how it's spelled, fruit. So that looks misspelled, doesn't that? F-R-U-U-I-T-S. Yeah, that's definitely misspelled. Did you catch that? They pass the fruit shop and the shoe shop. Fruit, shoe. And look at this. Shoes, fruits. How would you pronounce that? Fruit usually is U-I-T-S. But when you see F-R-U-U-I-T-S, that's sort of silly. Okay. So let's look at the Spanish. See how well you can understand. We can understand each other. Because when you can speak two languages and read both languages, that is really cool. Yeah, well, let's see how it goes. Okay. So Jason, say sento. On sus escalones delanteros. Alex se sentó a su lado. Tengo calor, dijo Alex. Yo también, dijo Jason. Jason sat on his front steps. Alex sat on his side, by his side. I'm hot, said Alex. Oh, me too, said Jason. See? Jason miro las grietas en la acera. Algo se movió. Mira, Jason dijo mientras bajaba corriendo las escaleras. An hilo de agua fluyó por El acera. Did I read that right? Did you understand? Jason looked at the cracks in the sidewalk. Acera. Something moved. Look, mira, Jason said while running, let's see, down the steps. Um, Anilo de agua fluyo, fluyo, fluyo por el acera. So a trickle of water, or a little thread of water, anilo, trickle of water ran down the sidewalk. So a trickle, are you familiar with that word? Do you ever talk about a trickle of water? That's just a little bit, but it's flowing. So usually it's like a thin stream, right? Is that how you define it? Let's go to the next one. De donde vino, dijo Alex. No lo sé, dijo it just Jason. Vamos a averiguar. Where does it, where did it come from? I don't know, said Jason. Let's find out. Jason siguió el goteo. Alex siguió a Jason. Pasaron la fruteria. Y la tienda de zapatos. El goteo se an Sancho. So Jason followed the trickle and Alex followed Jason. They passed the fruit store and the shoe shop. The trickle grew bigger, wider. Pasaron la cancha de baloncesto. Chesto, chesto. Hay dos. Hay dos goteos, Jason dijo. Puso un dedo en el agua. Fue genial. Hmm. How'd that go? Hmm? They passed the basketball court. There are two trickles, Jason said. Put a finger in the water. It was cool. It was nice. Genial, I would translate as nice, right? But it, it was cool. That's why it was nice. I must de dos. I must de dos. 
Alex Sinalo a la calle por delante, más gotas llegaron hacia ellos. Jason y Alex caminaron más rápido, pasaron la tienda de bicicleta y la panadería. There are more than two, Alex pointed to the street ahead. More trickles came towards them. Jason and Alex walked faster, more rapidly. They, they passed the bicycle store shop and the bread shop. El agua llegó cada vez más rápido. Los muchachos se quitaron los zapatos, zapatos. corrieron a través le, del agua fría. The water came, flowed many times faster. The boys took off their shoes and they ran through the cool water. De donde vino? viene? Alex dijo, mira, Jason dijo, el agua corría sobre sus pies. Corrieron hasta el final de la calle. Calle, calle. Una boca de incendios fue abierto. So, did that make sense? Where's it coming from? Said Alex. Look, said Jason. The water ran over their feet. They ran quickly to the end of the street. A fire hydrant was open. Aqua, agua rociada por todas partes. Los niños jugaban en el agua. Jason y Alex también lo hicieron. Oye, Alex, Jason miró a su amigo que Gutierba. Todavía estás caliente? Are you still hot? The water sprayed everywhere. Over every, yeah, sprayed everywhere. The boys played in the water. Jason and Alex also hicieron. They also played. Think of, if you know Spanish, what does that really mean? Hmm. Hey, Alex. Jason looked at his dripping friend. Are you still hot? Hey, that was pretty quick. All right, Rogelio, that's it for today. I look forward to reading with you another week, maybe next week. Um, we're coming to the end of the month, and that's when this session of stories is going to be over. But no matter what, I hope you are having fun reading on your own. Bye for now.